Good morning, Zentropic Growers. Uh, we're just doing a progress report. We're now at the five or sixth week into this experimental planting. And as you can see, the growth here is absolutely phenomenal. This is, remember, this is our porous soil on our farm. It's right next to this dry eucalypt area with washed out soils and you know, it's been pretty dead. Uh, part of the farm for a long time. But here, look at this growth. Let's have a little look what's going on down here. So, as mentioned, since the last video, these, uh, well, maybe 10 days ago, these sunflowers have put on about three or four inches. And in the center, remember, we planted a carpet of Asian, and they're coming up really nicely now. There's a little tatsoi in there, pack, the Japanese mustard greens. And they're actually enjoying the shade that these sunflowers are providing. And if we travel along, we've got our little buttered up pumpkins just bolting out of the ground. It's hard to believe that that's only five or six weeks old. Now, some of the success I'm attributing to this resurgent loosen. Now remember, after our first sowing of our cover crop, we only cut it off at stubble level and then I dissed the soil over the top just to make a fluffy row. We did not use the rotary tiller. So, the oats over here and the loosen has rebounded back through the row and he's absolutely loving it. So th these are also going gangbusters while providing nitrogen or fixing nitrogen into the soil around our target plants. So these guys are assisting the pumpkins, our Asian and so on. So as you can see the 250 meter rows are just covered in a placenta if you will or got a consortium of vegetable seeds that I've described earlier in previous videos. Now I'll post a few photos on our first radish pick. We've gone through this row and we've picked probably a hundred bunches of beautiful radishes, probably the biggest radishes that I've yet grown on this farm and they're just absolutely loving the protective shade of the sunflowers, the pumpkins here. We see some other types of cravel crop coming through. There's a little cowpea. This is sorghum. Here's our loosen again. And our oats. Now thankfully because we didn't till, the cover crop remained alive in the ground. And these guys are just brimming with fertility. They were planted into ground that was already biologically active with the cover crop roots. So this system seems to be working. Experiment successful at this stage. That's it for video number 12. We'll see you on the next one. Signing out from Fig Tree Organic Farm.